Good morning. Today I want to show you how to do gestures, how to use blending modes. So we have this UI here where when you start dragging, you can see that there are two cards that are animating in the background. And when you release, you go back to the main position. Let's take a look at what we have here. So we have three components. We have the card back, we have the card main. And for the card main, we can add gestures to it by simply adding a new property called gesture. And then you would have to code the events for the gesture. There are simple events such as tap, and then there are more complex events such as long press and then drag. And this is something I'm going to cover in detail in my course, but for now, I just wanna show you the blending modes. So I have these cards, especially the card back, which has a purple color, as you can see here. So I'm gonna to go to this one, card two. So the card two is the second one. And I'm going to press Command Shift L to bring the modifiers, search for blending mode, and voila. So now I applied darken to the second card. And I can choose to take any of those that you can find in Photoshop or Sketch. So for example, soft light, as you can see here, it, uh, blends with the background card. I'm going to go with hard light. So now it has a really nice blending and I'm going to apply this. So copy and I'm going to bring this to the card three. So you can see it gives this really nice blend of colors. I want to take a moment to appreciate the fact that we have components that are customizable and I didn't have to pass any props to that component. So that's one of the hidden powers of Swift UI. So while we're here, why don't we try to also add some 3D transform? So I'm gonna do Shift Command and L again, and then do 3D rotation. And we can see the result appearing already. It's just that we need to set the states. So we're gonna set the state. We're gonna ask drag state is active. So while we're dragging, is it active? And if so, just come back to uh, no transformation or else, so by default, then we have that transformation of 90 degrees. So now we have this really nice animation. The angle is a little bit sharp, so I'm gonna set it to 60 degrees. And I'm going to apply the same to the card too. So right here before blend mode. And there you go. We're going to set this one to 30 degrees. So now we have this really nice animation. It's very custom. And obviously you can customize as much as you want. So you can set, let's say, just taking the Y position to be animated like this. So you can have a ton of fun playing with blending modes and rotation and other properties. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I have this course where I'm going to show you how to create these UIs from scratch in Swift UI, and it's going to be really friendly and design centric. Thank you so much.